ഹിമാലയൻ യാത്ര പപ്പയുടെ ഹിമാലയ യാത്ര മൂന്ന് ചാപ്റ്റർ വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും ബാധിച്ചപ്പോഴേ തോന്നിയ ഒരു ഒരു പോയിന്റ് ആണ് അതെ പപ്പ നാൽപ്പത് ദിവസത്തോളം എടുത്തിട്ട് അറുന്നൂറ് കിലോമീറ്ററോളം യാത്ര ചെയ്തിട്ട് വളരെ ടീഡിയസ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള യാത്രയാണ് ചെയ്തത് അത് മൂന്ന് പ്രധാന കേന്ദ്രങ്ങള് ഇത് പിന്നെ ഋഷികേശ് കേദാർനാഥ് ബദരിനാഥ് ഇതൊക്കെ യാത്ര ചെയ്തു അതിന്റെ പുറമെ അത് തന്നെ വളരെ ടീഡിയസ് ആണ് അതിന്റെ പുറമെ ചെങ്കുത്തായ കയറ്റങ്ങള് അത് ആ ചാപ്റ്ററിൽ മാത്രല്ല വേറെ ചാപ്റ്ററിലും ഇതേപോലെ സന്ദർഭങ്ങൾ പറയുന്നുണ്ട് എന്നിട്ട് കയറുകയും അതിസാഹസികത എന്ന് തന്നെ നമുക്ക് പറയാം അതിസാഹസികത കാണിച്ച് ഇറങ്ങി വരിക എന്നിട്ട് രാമൻ എന്നെ രക്ഷിച്ചു എന്റെ ഒപ്പം രാമനുണ്ട് എന്ന് നമ്മളോട് വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും ആവർത്തിക്കുക അപ്പൊ യാത്ര ചെയ്യുന്നതിന്റെ മുമ്പേ തന്നെ രാമൻ കൂടെ ഉണ്ട് എന്ന് ഉറപ്പിച്ചിട്ടാ യാത്ര തുടങ്ങിയത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അപ്പയ്ക്ക് എല്ലായിടവും രാമനുണ്ട് എന്ന് ഉറപ്പുവാണ് പക്ഷെ ഇങ്ങനെ വിജ്ഞപ്തി ചെയ്ത് പറയുമ്പോഴേ നമ്മൾ നേരത്തെ പിന്നെ പപ്പയുടെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി പ്രേയർ നമ്മൾ ആവർത്തിക്കുമ്പോഴ് ആ പ്രേയർ നമ്മുടെ ആ പ്രേയറായി മാറി മാറുകയും പിന്നെ നമ്മളോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ പപ്പയുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ഭാവത്തിലേക്ക് നമ്മളെ കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ അത് ഉപകരിക്കുമെന്ന് പപ്പ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടാവുന്ന എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു അങ്ങനെ റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്ത് പറയുമ്പോഴേ അതേപോലെ ഒന്നുകൂടി എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു പിന്നെ ഈ ഈ യാത്ര പപ്പ തുടങ്ങുന്നത് നാൽപ്പത് വയസ്സിന് മുമ്പാ പപ്പയുടെ അതേ സമയത്ത് നമ്മളിതിപ്പം വായിക്കും നമ്മുടെ ഈ സ്വാധ്യായം ചെയ്യുന്ന നമ്മളിലെ പലരും ജീവിത സായാഹ്നത്തിലേക്ക് എത്തിയവരാണ് അപ്പൊ ഈ സായാഹ്നത്തിലെത്തിയ നമ്മളെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം മുന്നിലുള്ള പിന്നീട് വരാനിരിക്കുന്ന കാലങ്ങളിൽ കുറെ പ്രശ്നങ്ങൾ നേരിടാനുണ്ട് വാർദ്ധക്യ അനാരോഗ്യങ്ങളാവാം രോഗങ്ങളാവാം പിന്നെ വേണ്ടപ്പെട്ടവരുടെ വേർപെടൽ ഉണ്ടാവുന്നതാവാം അതിന്റെ ഉള്ളിലുള്ള ഒറ്റപ്പെടലാവാം ഒക്കെ കൂടി കഠിനമായ ദുഃഖങ്ങൾ വരാനിരിക്കുക അങ്ങനെ വരുമ്പോഴ് ഈ ജീവിത ഈശ്വര സാക്ഷാത്കാരം നേടാനായിട്ടില്ലെങ്കിലും നമ്മള് ഒരു കൂറൂരമ്മ കൃഷ്ണന്റെ ഒരു പ്രേമം നമ്മളിൽ വളർത്തിയെടുത്താൽ ആ ഒരു ഭാവം നമ്മളെ കഠിനമായ ദുഃഖത്തിൽ നിന്ന് രാമൻ കൂടെയുണ്ട് കൂടെയുണ്ട് എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ഭാവം നമ്മളെ കുയർത്തിയാല് അത് നമുക്ക് ആ ദുഃഖത്തെ കുറയ്ക്കാൻ നമുക്ക് വളരെ ഉപകരിക്കുമെന്ന് അതും പപ്പയുടെ ഒരു ഉദ്ദേശമായിരിക്കാം എന്ന് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു ഇവര് ഈ മുപ്പത്തി അഞ്ചാം ഇരുപത്തി ആറാമത്തെ ചാപ്റ്ററിലെ സോറി സാമുഖ്യ ഒരു മിനിറ്റ് ഹിമാലയൻ ജേണി ത്രീ ആദ്യ പേര രണ്ടാമത്തെ പേരയും ഇതേ സാഹസികതയാ കാണിക്കുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അത് വായിച്ചപ്പോഴാണ് എനിക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ തോന്നുന്നത് അതായത് ഇപ്പോ ഇന്ന് രാവിലെ ഇവിടത്തെ ചെറിയൊരു ചെറിയ സത്യങ്ങൾ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു അതെ അതിന് വന്ന ടോപ്പിക് ഇത് തന്നെയായിരുന്നു പോയതാണോ ഗീത ഇംപോസ് one concept about god on all events individual and objects that is why we feel 
we are we we got disconnected with him. So instead, we are praying to him. When you are there in everything, and then you are everything, why don't you make us to access everything as they are? Because we remembered C C C Anandamayi Madhu words. So if you want to realize the truth, truth means capital, not T, capital T, the reality. You should accept everything as it is without choosing one thing for another. So that means when he is there, when he is there in the varied form, which includes you, you also, which includes all the manifestations. Why are you separating? Why are you trying to bring out a concept that there is another another realm where he is not? So something like that we should be able to. That is what he was able to do is because even when he finds a, 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 a any situation. He says, for all these consciousness, he says, the far off hills and valleys, the varied, varied huge sky in which the white fleecy clouds assumed fantastic shapes, the snow-capped mountain, hundreds of miles away up, dazzling in the rays of the sun, as though they were covered with sheets of silver, all these constituted indeed an imposing sight. Oh, the charm of the senses, oh Ram! Poor Ramdas cannot find adequate words to describe the grandeur, the beauty, the wonderful glory of the sight that met his bewildered gaze. So the charm of the senses, you know. Then again he says, as he walked on, he drank deeper and deeper of the splendor of Ram's infinity and of the lost, lost, lost in the intoxication of it all. O Ram, thy kindness to thy slave is very unbounded. From day to day, both Ram Singer and Ram Sundar walked on at a high speed. Ram Sundar felt no fatigue, no pain, no discomfort. He was as fresh as ever. It was all due to Ram's grace, whose name was always on his lips. It was a journey in the land of enchantment. It was all a bewitching dream, full of the glory and greatness of Ram. There, Ram exhibits his marvelous powers. See. He is a mighty conjurer. Vision after vision dances and flits before your eyes, and unconsciously you fall under the subtle charm and spell of the great magician. You forget what you are and where you are. So the probably by writing this, Papa wants all of us to, to somehow somehow remove this concept from our mind. It's a tough job. So far, we have when we see an object, when we see a tree, when we see a building, when we see a window, when we see the laptop, when we see person, we are accepting them as that. But now we should know that he is that. How to accept that? We don't know. Each one has to try and talk out. Then somebody came forward and then suggested, you were quoting from Osho's book, where you know every time we call it as awareness bath. So though we may not be able to, as Jayadran said, we are reading of the narrative of a a special type of sadhaka aspirant like Papa, when he was in his 38th or 39th year. We people are, most of us are in the evenings of our life. And then, how are we to raise ourselves up to that level? We know before us, you are telling, he know before us, But lot of downpulling factors will emerge in the form of sickness, in the form of old age, in the form of, you know,
some mental disturbances which can be caused by anything at home or with our friends. So in the midst of all this, how are we to keep up this constant remembrance? Is it a, yeah, it's a, it's a fundamental question. So the answer also he says, you know, we have to somehow practice it only by remembering him through any method. Like Kururama was having a relationship with the Almighty, you know, the limitless Almighty in the form of Lord Krishna. Or like that, there are so many Bhaktotama who were able to feel the constant remembrance, of course, through a form. So we are now in between, no? Neither are we attached to a form, nor are we clear about the impersonal aspect. We have great respect, regard, faith in the words of our master. But the question remains that we are still unable to bring in this constant remembrance factor throughout our waking state. So this is a put for thought for all of us. Kindly think about it. How am I to bring now? So when you are sitting and taking part in this satsang, when somebody is talking and somebody is listening, you know, how are we to bring in this constant remembrance now and here? If we, if we are blessed with some techniques, just like before we learned the cycle balance and after having the cycle balance, we never lose it. Similarly, we are now praying, you give us a technique. If once we get the technique, we will, we will be always having, having it as a part of our nature. It's a very important point, you know. Every chapter reminds us of this sublime idea. You and I, when we go for a picnic, you and I go, when we go even for a spiritual camp. We recently had one in Shirumalai near Bindikal. Society is so bewitching, you know, beautiful. Everybody was thrilled. We were able to say that the super, the super, the uh, a mysterious architect, how he has brought about the mountains, valleys, so many things in a beautiful shape and also when you look at the sky in the evening, as he said, the way in which the clouds shape themselves, all those things are wonderful. We, 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 we keep on telling it as beautiful artwork of God. Have we been able, immediately after that, when we are back to our usual self, we seem to have lost that connection. So that means the technique is not still clear, though we are nearing the technique. So this Himalayan journey, wherever you go, everywhere you can see, but in Himalayan journey, when he keeps on bringing out this dimension, the message is try to bring, bring this at all times. At a certain place, they miss each other, causing anxiety to both, Ramkinkar and Papa. However, Ram brought them together, you see. In every page we can see this. Ram alone could, Ramdas watches the scene with breathless suspense. He was silently calling upon Ram to save her. Ram alone could, none else. Oh Ram, how terrible a condition. Ram, thy name be glorified. O oh, Ram, thy will be done. Every chapter, you know. So now we, we have been reading, we are, we are moving towards that. 
But now something else is needed that we have to unearth from within. A technique which he has hid in our mind. He is there in behind our mind. The technique, the key, that also he has kept it there. He has made known to us that it is there. But where and what we are yet to get it. But if we are earnest and start yearning for it, from the assurances we have given to the IQG, one day he will also hand it over. So let that be there behind our, behind our thoughts. That he is holding the key. He is with us. He has been able to make us feel the nearness. But because he has not handed over the key to us, we are trying it difficult. So we, uh, we assume, we superimpose so many things based upon what we hear on factors other than. Uh, one more message here. Now it strikes to us. So along with our deep contemplation and inward journey, when we keep our minds open, when we keep our eyes open, ears open, whatever we see, we should be able to understand that it is his creation. Now we know only theoretically that it is his creation. Since we are not taking contemplative life throughout our waking state, and every, most of the time we spend in, in, in seeing, observing, interacting, handling, all outside factors, this a technique is needed from the outside factors to go to this God dimension. Then. And so far, whatever we tried, you know, we don't know whether each one will know whether it has uh, helped him or her or not. So let us not distract our attention and concentrate on this. You make me to, you make, you, you are exposing me to your own creation, but at the same time you are not making me see that it is your creation. So theoretically you have made me known that it is your creation. When I close my eyes also I know that uh, you are there but I am not aware of your presence. So the, I form certain concepts and try to, try to go beyond the concept. I, if I in, so please give me some technique by which the moment I close my eyes, I must be able to feel that you are there. The moment I open my eyes, I must be able to see that you are there in the form of the creation. IQG in-depth study should ultimately lead us to that, which is the final or you got the ultimate aim of all life. We were wondering, you know, morning at about 7.30 he makes us to discuss about Anusmaranam and at 4 o'clock the first question starts with this remembrance, you know. See, there is a, there is a, there is a chronological order in all that is arranged. Everyone should go deeply inside and the prayer should come from the bottom of the heart to give us some technique, some technique, you know. Jayajandran was also making a mention that the universal prayer composed by Papa is a revelation of his experience. Similarly, either I should make it my own prayer or I should express it in my own being. So far I am only reading Papa's prayer. I am not re- I am not bringing out my prayer. So either those words should become mine, or I should bring out in my own way, in my own language. 
It's also a wonderful point. So we are trying to understand how to how to how to evolve a technique by which we uh, deep up this anusmaranam, constant remembrance. Is it becoming clearer? Yes, Swami Ji. There can't be a direct answer. Answer is only our sadhana. Yes. Swami Harivam Pranam Swami Ji. Pranam. Swayam. Chapter 36. Uh. Pandarpur, Bijapur. Uh. 154 page number Swami Ji. Uh. Here, yes, Ramdas remained in Pandarpur for five days, occupying a small mandir of Shankar on the banks of the Holy River. In the company of two sons, Ram is very kind. Ramdas here came to know that Mangalveda will lay only twelve miles from Pandarpur. One morning, he walked this distance and reached Mangalveda mm-hmm. at midday. In the town, a kind merchant served him with food. It appeared mm-hmm. As though the merchant was looking forward to Ramdas Aravel. Ram's plans are always so when man leaves everything to him without interference. Ah. Mangalveda is a small town where about 400 years ago the great state Damaji Pan flourished. The ancient and worn out fortress in which Damaji was holding office for meaning public affairs under the bars of Giza who is still there. Dhammaj was the great devotee of Vinoba, Vitoba of Pandarpur. The way how he came to the relief of thousands of starving women, stricken fellow men by a loving and fearless act of charity, and how God Vitoba saved his bhakta by assuming the form of a paraya, form the theme of a well known story in this great saint's life. The memory of the saint is still dear and sacred of everyone of this first town even to this day. And the Samadhi of this train, there is now a temple containing three idols, Vajitoba, Rukmai and Samadhi. Bhajan, Puja and reading of religious books are going on in this temple through the day and a great part of the night. There is also a sadhu residing here. Ramdas remained in the society of sadhu for five days. They were indeed by the grace of Ram, very happy days. Swamiji, here, Appa telling, 12 miles, live only 12 miles. Ah. There is no, there is no, uh, Sadhu Ram. Papa telling the here, mentioned, live only 12 miles. Only Papa is there, no, Swami. Yes. Yeah. And one more thing, Swamiji, see, Kind of merchant. No, the mo- mo- most important uh, line in that particular first para Sorry. is Ram's plans are always so when man leaves everything to him without interference. Son, son. Ah, this is something on which again, no, he is reminding us. Ram's plans are always so when man leaves everything to him without interference. That is, See, see, it appeared as though the merchant was looking forward to Ramdas's arrival. That means Ram's plans are always so. It is like that. When man leaves everything to him without interference. That is the most important word in the term. Ayra. So we interfere in everything, you know. We means our mind. Our mind and intellect interfere, it comes out with its own plans, it comes out with its own, what you call, concepts, answers, approach, norms. So, God allows us to do it. But in Papa's case and on Ruth's case, not only that he did not have any plan, but he was also able to understand Ram's plan. As a, everything has Ram's plan. Yeah, yeah. Not only that he did not have any individual plan, but he was also aware of 
the fact that everything is going according to Ram's plan. He was not interfering at all. So when we, when we deal with men and matters, 99% of our minds and indirect plans, but at least as a sadhaka, after reading this, after making an in-depth study, by remembering these words, we can try to abstain from interfering, at least in a few. And leave it. What is to happen will happen ultimately. Okay, he makes us to say such a something, he makes us to do something. But ultimately we know that okay. Ultimately he will he will decide his plans are there. Suppose we try to develop it in two or three or four uh, uh, occasions in a day. It might be a workable formula. Can you think about it? This particular word, page number 154 in the new book, Pandarpur, Vijapur, so he says, Ramdas here came to know that Mangal Veda lay only 12 miles. One morning he walked this distance and reached Mangal Veda. In the town a kind merchant served him with food. Immediately, you know, he did not say, uh, it was so nice of the merchant to have provided him the food. That's what we are saying, you know. But he immediately said, it appeared as though uh, the merchant was looking forward to Ramdas's arrival. Ram's plans are always so when. Man leaves everything to him without interference. Yes. In the second pair of Swamiji, in the second pair of Swamiji, regarding Bhamaji Pant, kindly give some more room. No, today, uh, yeah, Dhamaji the Dhamaji. Swami. Dhamaji the episode comes before us. Swami. Because he was also a great devotee of Vitoba. So when they, uh, he was in charge of everything there, so he, uh, huge stocks of footsteps were there. The people were facing famine, you know. So at Swami. that time, he opened and uh, released everything. Without getting a sanction from the Bhashra, the king, somebody reported to the king and immediately he was put in jail. He was asked to pay the money. Pay the money of the entire stock footsteps which he has distributed unauthorizedly. And then, Vithoba coming in the form of a pariya, he goes to the Bhatsha and gives the exact amount, you know. And then he left it. But somehow the charming, arresting face of that uh, person who brought this chit, who brought this money, the Bhatsha was after him. And then Bhatsha immediately released, uh, released uh, Dhammaji and asked him, who, where is the servant who brought this money of yours? Then Mangal Veda said, there is no servant for me. I have not sent anybody. No, no, you, yeah, the city bears his signature, something like that. No, no, you have sent him. Why are you lying to me? So like that, that story, you know, reliance on God, totally, in total disregard to the consequences. It is a sign of, it is a sign of, you know, this non-interference. Submission to his will with, a, with zero interference, you know. He did not allow his mind or intellect to work. If yeah. it had been allowed, he cannot do it. 
because it is a it is a it is a norm that you should get permission to release such huge stock to everybody with the permission with the uh, consent of the Bhatsha only. So it is a violation of the act, which is wrong. And God thought to it that He observes that He goes along with this statute. So He brought, He compensated, taking a human form and giving it. So the, here also we can say, Sam Papa repeats this only to make us aware that when we don't interfere, the same word you apply here. Um, Ram's plans are always so when man leaves everything to him without interference. Sam. The way how he came to the relief of thousands of starving, famine-stricken fellow men by a loving and fearless act of charity, and how God Vishnu was saved his bhakta by assuming the form of a pariah from the theme of a well-known story in this great saint's life. So when Papa went there, he, he was able to remember all these things. Um, that means, yeah, that means, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that means the, 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 the previous, in the previous para he writes, Ram's plans are so. When our interference is not there. So our mean our mind is internet. The sense of individuality does not come in and do that. And leaves everything without his interference. We may read for thousand times, but we still we may not leave it, no. Because our mind and intellect is so, con- is so conditioned that it keeps on bringing up its own answers, its own concepts, its own plans. But by, but by reading, but by reading and assimilating and absorbing and contemplating on again and again and again, <laughs> probably we might be able to train our mind to keep quiet. And at least in a few instances that we leave it to him. It's a wonderful, it's a wonderful word that has been pointed out. So today we can say that is what Papa wants all of us to uh, dwell upon and trying to make a reality in our life. Ram's plans are always so when man leaves everything to him without interfering. Good. Hari Om Pranam Swami. Swami Ji. Swami Ji. Chapter number 31. Chapter number 31. Juna Ghaid. Chapter number 31. Juna Ghaid. Second Pera Swami Ji. Second Pera. Ram here performed two wonderful miracles. Ram here performed two wonderful miracles. That one. Ah, that one, Swamiji. One of these sadhus had an attack of fever from a fortnight, and in spite of various kinds of treatment, he was asked. As bad as ever, he was bedded apart and then was stretching over his illness. Seeing his condition, Ramdas could not resist going to his bed and sitting near him, offering himself for his service, began pressing his legs slightly. Coming to know of this, the ailing Sadhu sat up and remonstrated, saying that he was quite unworthy to receive such attention from him. He only asked for a blessing from Ramdas and that he should be all right by the following day. Ramdas said that he was only a humble slave of Ram, and he had no right to bless anybody. Do bless in the name of Ram, he appealed. Then, brother, may Sri Ram, the protector of all, bless you with health by tomorrow morning. 
નેક્સ્ટ લાઈન વેરી કચી લાસ્ટ નાઈટ રામ વત પ્રઘાત જીથી સેટિંગ ધ સાધુ રાઈટ બટ નેક્સ્ટ મોર્નિંગ ઇવર એન્ટાયરલી ફ્રી ફ્રોમ ફીવર એન્ડ વોઝ મૂવિંગ અબાઉટ ઇન ગુડ કેર એન્ડ હેલ્થ ધીસ મારવેલસ ક્યોર બાય રામ ફોર વર્કિંગ વિથ હી હેડ મેડ હમ્બલ રામદાસ ઇઝ ટુલ્ડ મેડ ક્વાઇટ અ સેન્સેશન ઇન ધ આશ્રમ so he became an object of considerable attention and love from all in the ashram about 3 or 4 days later another sadhu fell ill she too was ramda to bless him in the same way as he had done to the other ramda prayed again uh, to ram as requested oh ram what a wonderful powerful being you are the second sadhu was also recovered by the following morning all glory to the ram हरिओम स्वामी जी प्रणाम ओके मे आई आस्क समथिंग नाउ आदित्य वॉज नॉट आदित्य वॉज नॉट वेल ही वॉज कोरोना पॉजिटिव इन दैट केस नाउ वी विल थिंक वी आर थिंकिंग ऑन द लाइन ऑफ नॉन इंटरफरेंस बट वी डेफिनेटली प्रे फॉर टू पपा दैट ही शुड बी ऑल राइट एंड बिकॉज आई वॉज हैंडलिंग हिम and attending to him i even i got corona positive so my only my husband was left behind like uh, he was uh, running about for doctor medicine everything alone so in that case we will definitely pray no swami ji then in that case is it in the plan so we should know clearly that it will be possible only when we need everything to him at the moment we cannot leave because the mind the mind still feels this has to be done like this it is also is prompting so whatever he prompts from within you act yes whatever he prompts from you within you he act the only thing is you should know that he is making you to act yes ha yes. ha uh, when only then it is not in the plan ha whenever and whatever prompting he gives we do it but we don't realize that it is his prompting that is the only thing is we we feel that we we have to do hmm. it is not that we have to do he is doing it <laughs> when he causes the corona or any such sickness in uh, he sitting inside he promises to go to the doctor take to the medicine or preventive measures everything we should hmm. know that he has made us do it as aspirants or as bhaktas as devotees of god that we are unable to read because we are not we have not trained our mind and at that particular moment we need not think at least after that we can think you know yes ha hmm. ah. immediately after that suppose some you we react as we prompt from within even if we don't remember that it is because of him that i did at that particular time after a brief pause moment then we are uh, we have settled our self we can say, oh correct see when we are creating oh destroyer oh creator protector and destroyer all the three roles is playing so it is he who brought the disease it is he who comes out in the form of medi- medication it is he who uh, makes us to take the medicine or uh get cancer seek for consultation with the doctor to take medicine so everywhere what is needed is only to bring him into the picture not if we are not doing anything else hmm. uh, we should not confuse this whatever ah uh, whatever is wrong there hmm hum ko we pray to him you 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 help me in bringing it no doubt about it you in the form of doctor you in the form of medicine you in the form of this prompting due to the arrangement at that time i did not know i was a little depressed i was dispirited i was dejected i was disappointed i was shaking eh? but somehow you made everything for me data i realized that you made everything for me clear i i don't know the reason why you caused me this but i know that you are behind this like that you know we have a dialogue with you Hmm. Yes, Swami. Hmm. By constantly hammering this in as many ways as possible, you know, he puts us on test. 
figure ahead of him to make us more and more firm in our in our yes sir ah because of the corona we can't be because of the corona he has to be isolated and at the same time high having high temperature then all these the thoughts will not come at that time that time the first first and foremost oh, yes. uh, that thought will be only to provide him with the medicine and relief you remember we were told you know when puji mata ji was passing to hmm. uh, is your bodily problem hmm. she she said one that the oh papa i i asked everything but i i forgot to ask you that you should give me the strength to bear everything please hmm because so, so when the body is weak when it is aged when the disease comes these are some of the ways by which you know we bring in the dimension give me the strength carry to endure body is suffering i cannot avoid it. i have to work out my prayer of that but when you make me to work out you give me the strength to handle it something like that you know even at that time we are little taken and we express in a different way we view it from the individual level but in the shortest possible time our sadhana should enable us to bring us back and then to oh you gave me this you you provided this facility for me you made somebody to take care of me at the right time you made me to do it like that you know these are some of the ways that we can bring it so we just did that point was a uh, focus that we all did then what is the our individual uh, you feel like how is it taken if, if everything is decided if everything is his command then what are we doing individual uh, yeah uh no but we are everything is preordained but we don't know that we are only reading the words of papa we are not realize so until we realize self effort should be there Hmm. Hmm. Until we realize, hmm. we are only repeating the word. Hmm. We are not realized. When we say it is preordained, hmm. we should mean that everything is preordained. Then only we will be able to go along with it. Hmm. When we have our own individual will, individual planning, individual hmm. concept making, hmm. we cannot simply say this. So, with, so long as we have got the sense of individuality and our mind is active in mm. thinking, in deciding, in planning, go ahead. That's it. Papa used to say in a lighter way, "You plan, but a comma there, subject to his will." Mm. Ah. So slowly we try to do everything, okay, according to our mind, according to our what we have been doing it. But now we will slowly add another you know, one more word. Comma and say hmm. subject to his will. Ah. Hmm. Yes, Swami. Our will. So first we are trying to synthesize our will and his will, and later hmm. on we have been promised we will realize that only his will prevails. Hmm. So the first thing is our will and his will. We try to blend. Hmm. As I said, Papa said, yes, I want to go on day after tomorrow. I have booked the ticket. Very good, but subject to his will. Mm-hmm. Things can go topsy-turvy, you know. Mm-hmm. With all good intentions, you do it. But suppose if this comma is there, subject to his will, mm-hmm. even if something goes wrong, we will have that cushioning. Mm-hmm. We will not be disappointed. Mm-hmm. We will not be miserable. We will not be feeling the stress. Or it is not going according to the plan because the comma is there. Subject to his will, so that means our will is there, no doubt. His will is there, paramount. At the moment we are trying to blend it too, and then later on we will find we have been told we will find that there is only his will that works. Good that you raise this point. It's we have to train important. our mind in that. Ah, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Our will, comma, subject to his will. Mm. Until the handing over takes place, then there is only his will. Mm. So we have to act. So long as we feel, we have to act. We have to act. So long as we feel, we have to act. 
That is yes, called individual will. Uh, the individual hmm. will marrying the divine. Hmm. Thank you, Swami. Yes. Hari Om, Swami Ji. Hari Om. Hari Om, Swami Ji. And Hari Om, Swami Ji. Hari Om, Hari Om. Ah, in this connection, Swami Ji, really, this is the experience. I wanted to come to Chennai from Bangalore to be in Premnagar with you and you know attend the satsang. But here also, Radhu, Jairam, Ishwar, everybody had COVID positive, Corona positive, and I too was not well. Manasu and the Satsang hymns in Nigga Jonele are so he is well. Satsang, Bhagavan or the Vilik in Amadu Pandanon Roto. Are they Ratri Lama? Napoleon, Athapetene, Papa, Napomri, Abdinsoli, Manasu, Rumba, Azar, and the Pray Koda, Konjama, and their feeling. I must accept our own will done, I accept the Rumba. வரமுடியில <laughs> 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 probably to make us to understand more and more about him hmm there must be some purpose behind it but we always see him you have given me an individual you made me to feel that i have got an individual will hmm. okay hmm. i can't be out hmm. of it okay hmm. now give me the technique by which you know i blend it with your will and then finally i realize that your will alone prevails not mine Straight away it may be difficult for me because my mind is not used to life, life from childhood. Mm. We have been taught from school, colleges, from our field mm. that uh, you have to be intelligent, you have to be discriminative, you have to be sharp. After we think, you know, our decision making has uh, done us good, our decision making has done us bad. So the decision making, decision making entity is becoming more and more powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that is called it individual will mm-hmm. but when we because uh, because of our contact with the spiritual professor in our case papa we slowly now come to realize that it is not our will alone that prevails it is his will alone that prevails then it is difficult for me to accept it because my mind is used to the individual will refusing to accept it even god will refusing to accept the recognized god will mm-hmm. so now when we hear this intently when we apply our mind intently slowly mm-hmm. papa these words put subject to your will mm-hmm. we try that subject to your will i am planning okay. to go on seven subject to your will so i am planning to do this subject to your will mm mm-hmm. mm uh, Yeah. Uh, that means i don't become inert in this uh, idle I, i don't become you know a stationary item i become a vibrant being with all the faculties you have given but at the same time i am not uh, affected mm-hmm. yes samiti okay i'm samiti samiti not affected deeply i know mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. thank you uh, samiti samiti to his will mm-hmm. ah அவரோட <laughs> 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 deeply mm. there may be a slight uh, ripple on the surface mm mm initially but in that first possible time we will uh, come to realize oh that's mm. right swami ji but we, we have to accept this very gracefully you know accept it will gracefully accept it will gracefully Initially, we may not accept gratefully. 
ஆமா சுவாமிஜி மட்டும் <laughs> 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 ஒரு <laughs> <laughs> If we say, suppose it's a given situation, I have to take some decision. I, I believe I have full faith and trust in God and take decision thinking that it is His will that has prompted me to act like this, subject to His will. Like this, if we, if we practice in every given situation, slowly we can develop ourselves. Slowly. That's what, that is what is now being emphasized by Papa, no? Ah, you take the, decision, it is all right. ஒன்ட் <laughs> 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 in gospel of somebody this question was raised by somebody and he said this your yes, individual will you can plan papa how can we how can we live with our planning we have to do the booking we have to travel arrangements so many you know new facilities so many things are there before us then immediately papa said okay god let you plan but put a comma and say subject to his will so this is how we train our self this is a technique he has given so that is why we said initially we are we are not doing away with the individual will we are not belittling the individual will we are not invalidating the individual will but we are trying to connect up individual will with the divine will and then later on everybody assures that we will know only the divine will prevail kindly think about it So nobody needs uh, uh, you know planning is necessary everything is necessary you know even to move from one place to another place you have to have a little bit of planning so to make some arrangement so to get in touch with you have to make a project so many things are there but underneath all these things we should know that it is you have prompted me to do this anyway left to you That is why in Bhagavad Gita, you know, putting it in another way, they say, yours is only to work, not to the food. What does it mean? You have to work. Karma niyeva adhikarate. That is the only thing. You, you have been, I have given, I have given you an essence of individuality and I have allowed you to form certain concepts. I have allowed, given you so many faculties. Planning is a faculty. based upon our previous experience the experience of many other people based upon the knowledge we have he has facilitated us to understand we do the planning we go for it um, project we start of so many things all those things are okay some may meet with failure some may meet with uh, uh, factor yesterday we were sharing about you know papa's initiative in taking in setting up the school the hospital and the udyogshala and later how everything was cheerfully given away from the ashram school you as we said you may, you might remember at the time of starting papa i had even said the children of this school will become the top bearers of uh, anand ashram no so sankalpa here at that time at that time god prompted him to say those words and later on when god decided in another way 
There was no problem for him to do it. Not a tinge of regret. You and I will definitely become upset, you know, because if you go through the whole division, you will find umpteen number of people have contributed. Twenty-five paisa, uh, quarter and a half and a half, one rupee, two rupee, three rupee for those projects. So our mind will always say, how will I face them? No. In all good faith, they have done. But in Papa's case, there is no problem. Because he was seeing the initiative as God prompting. He was seeing the facilitation as God prompting. He was seeing the setting up of those institutions as God prompting. And he also saw that the time has come when God wants Ashram to withdraw from the good field. So individual will, in our case we can say individual will is there, no doubt. We don't have to assume or pretend uh, uh, that the uh, individual will is not there. Individual will is there. We can now slowly try to blend it with the divine will. That is why Papa said, put a comma and say, subject to his will. Anything that he promises to do, we add this. Subject to his will. Subject to his will. Subject to his will. Let it get stamped on our heart. So it doesn't prevent us. It is not plugging any of our creativity. It is not plugging any of our initiative. Everything is perfectly all right. But we will not be upset when it is not going according to the plan which he gave us. Is that clear? Yes, from the back of the Yes. Oh, time is up. Uh, Maroi? Swamiji, Swamiji, one last clarification. He may accept the will. Swamiji, ah. am I clear? Uh, we may accept the will, but with a growl that it's not in my hands, everything only you can do. You know, with a growl, not with a Okay, you can approach can be in any way. So, key is this. We all feel we have got an individual will. Let us be, uh, let us be very clear about it. On 7th, you know, we, we have programmed to leave for why not? It is there, you know, it is a fact. Whether it might happen or not, we can't be sure. <laughs> So we have nothing wrong in, in, in doing this, but don't, as spiritual aspirants, as devotees of Papa, as spiritual children of Papa, we are trying to learn that if it happens, very good. If it doesn't happen, he may have some idea behind it, that's all. But yes. it doesn't mean that, we are, it, it doesn't stop us in planning. Oh. It, do, it doesn't stop us from coming out with initiative. Hmm. Nothing, nothing wrong in it. Imagination is also given by him. Planning is also given by him. So, Swami, this Imagine problem it. comes to gay ladies. What to do for breakfast? What to do for lunch? What to do for dinner? Uh, so, we are uh, planning uh, all the time. Ah, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But if it doesn't happen, if you want yes. to have dosha, suddenly you find all the uh, ingredients are not there in the uh, store. Yes. Oh, oh, God doesn't... Uh, <laughs> like that, you know, in a small, small item we try to bring in. Yes. What Correct. I think I have to do, like I thought of making dosha, it is not how you like it, but fret over it. Ah. I must bring stop. that into my mind. Don't stop your activity, cat. Keep on that activity. But try to add this trauma. Ah, okay. Not okay. to his will. Not to his will. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good day, Swamiji. Very lively. Very lively. Thank you, Swamiji. Thank you, Swamiji. We planned something. We planned something. Ah, yeah. Swamiji, we planned something. Ah. And this is with the full realization that it is subject to God's will. We planned something. Ah, correct. Knowing that the subject to God's will, subject to God's Correct. will, it should be executed successfully or Correct. not. We need not say, but we should feel. If it is not executed successfully, it is a failure of the plan. 
be awful again, go back and do failure analysis. Is that right? Failure analysis is also not bad. The failure analysis will definitely give us the unknown factor which it decides in favor or not in our favor. We know that we have made full attempts as guided by our previous experience and we, we still meet with failure. A failure analysis will definitely make us aware that there is one more uh, unknown factor that decides, which is not the blind will. Yes, sir. Nothing is wrong, everything is prompted by him. Uh, everything is prompted by him. The only thing is we should know that he is prompting. Thank you, Swami. Don't doubt anything. Don't uh, raise anything. Let anything happen. Okay, uh, let the mind create its own world. Everything is okay. Let us think, let us know that deep within that he is the, he is. <laughs> Behind it, he is behind it. Ah, he may make us to plan, he may make us to play. Why and where are we cannot question. It has happened. That's not happened. Thank you. That's it. Good advantage always means to say no post mortem. Uh -huh. ah, post mortem. We accept it. Okay. <laughs> okay, then we will meet tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. 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 Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram.